you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video, guys. And today, we got the House Rules event. So I went over this in the first video, but I have some tips to adjust it just because they did adjust the House Rules total. So in the first video, I did show you guys that it was 30 total wins for 200 yards, but they just updated it. They just, Query Kralo just tweeted out on Twitter, which is why it's good to have Twitter because you always know what's going on. That it is now 10 wins. So if you go into the house rules, you get to play stock. It is 10 wins for a random 987 plus Team Diamond because originally it was 200 yards. First person 200 yards gets a win. So 30 wins in that sense makes sense because if it's 200 yards, the games are probably like a quarter of the length. So like technically playing 30 wins is like really getting 10, 10, 8 wins. But because they did update it, now it is 10 total wins. We have to play full games. Now, I have not played a single full game. I believe I have. I have four wins done already, and that probably took me like 25 minutes because I made the first three kids quit within the first like two minutes of the game, and then I made this last kid quit in like the third quarter. So it all depends on how you play, which is why I have this tip video for you guys for the best ways to go about this because if you guys can get, if you guys can annoy your opponents quickly, it is very quickly, it's easy to get a win because people have very low patience in house rules. People aren't here to competitively compete and play their best. People are just here to get in and out of games, get their quick wins, get their free net diamond. People, if they feel overwhelmed, they quit right away because they're like, I don't want to wait. I don't want to play 10 full games. They want to get as quickly in and out. So they want to be undermatched players. Well, they want to have players that are undermatched that they can easily get wins. So for me, if you come out quickly in your best defensive plays and you adjust and you have your proper things in against what they're doing, you get one pick or a few sacks and they're out. I made in the first three games, I got a grand total of probably like eight sacks in the first first drive of theirs all together within three games. So people quit right away on me. They were not staying in those games. So I'm gonna give you guys my tips and what plays I like to run for these specific things. Now, before we get into the video, guys, if you are new to the channel, go down below, drop a sub button. We hit the sub button, drop a sub button, hit the sub button. We are over 7K now. We're grinding up to 8K and hopefully 10K by September. So if you guys haven't already, smack the button. Turn on the notifications to get notified every time I post a brand new video just like this that is time sensitive that could help you guys tremendously. As with every other video I do, that's usually time sensitive. Now, guys, make sure to comment down below what you guys think of the house rule and who you want to get because I'm going to make a ranking video probably on these Team Diamonds on who you probably want to pull out of these. You don't get to pick, but who you probably, the best ones to probably get. But guys, if you don't, if you don't comment down below, that's fine, but I'd appreciate it if you did so it could help me with my list. And also like the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Be greatly appreciated. Now, guys, me personally, like I said, I went through four games within like 25 minutes. It was very easy. And the first three probably took me 10 minutes. The last one was like 15. But guys, so the way I go about this is that when you get into the game, if you start out on defense, I actually like starting out on defense or offense. It doesn't really matter because if you're on offense and you strike quickly, they're already annoyed. Like if you go down in house rules, you're like, damn, like now I got to catch back up. Now they're not going to quit. So that's the first thing I like to do. So my opinion, if you start on offense, you want to strike quickly, bring out your glitchiest plays. I think the best stock play in the game is at a gun split close for the Patriots. Or if you go to, I like to go to the Patriot playbook. You go to buy play type shotgun. It's the first one there. If you hit X, I'm pretty sure it has a halfback angle, um, an over the middle post and then another post and then a drag and a running back coming out on a halfback wheel best stock plays around because remember this is play stock so you can't adjust your plays so you also can't block players you also can't adjust plays so i want a a mid read a flat read and a deep read and even an over the middle read. like i want every type of read because you literally can't adjust so like if the guy comes out in a blitz you can't do a drag if you don't have a drag on your play you're screwed because they're blitzing you because you don't have nothing quick if they're doing playing back and you can maybe hit them with a the post you can't just adjust to a post it all comes down to what you have stock so the play like like i said is in the patriot playbook you go to buy play type and it's literally in the shotgun passes like right there you'll see it it's literally a post a post a halfback angle a halfback wheel and a dot on a, a drag so my favorite play to run but remember you cannot adjust it so you have to come out and plays you like so if the guy is coming out in heavy blitzing you want to make sure you pick plays with good low like early reads because if they're coming out blitzing you can't adjust that so make sure you always have a drag in your in your route combos now if they're not coming out and blitzing it makes it even easier or you could also run the ball. Now, if you do come out on defense, what I like to do on defense, I like to blitz the hell of them. I got two blitzes for you guys. It's pinch buck and pinch dog. Pinch buck is a man blitz where you have like, hmm, I want to say six blitzing and the rest in coverage. So you're going to want to use the guy in the running back. So you're going to have pinch buck. They're going to be, if they're not in five wide, if they have a running back in the backfield, you want to be on the linebacker that's on the running back. All I got to do is cover the running back and then circle back to whatever routes are over the field. So if the running back is staying back there on like a flat route, make sure you get to him because he cannot block him. So remember, since they can't block players, the only way to counter blitzes is by blocking running backs and tight ends. You can't block anyone. So pinch buck is one of those blitzes where if you don't block anyone extra, it's an auto sack. 
pretty much because they will be blocking only five they can only block five. I mean, there's not many plays you can get extra blockers just by stock. So they can only block five. So if you blitz them with pinch buck right away, you pretty much will get a sack within the first few seconds. Now, it helps if you have Lawrence Taylor, Von Miller, Donald, or Demarcus Lawrence, or any of those guys, Reggie White. So if you guys have good pass rush, it's even easier. But I highly recommend you blitz them because blitzing them is irritating. When you blitz people, if you blitz them on first down and they go first and second and long, they're like, okay, that's annoying. You get them third and long, now I can't even play. You get them on fourth and long and have to punt, they're like, wow, this is annoying. I'm not going to be able to score all game. So you overwhelmed them in that first drive. I got three straight quits off overwhelming them on the first drive. Now, some people might say, okay, maybe I can come back the second drive and stop them. So what, you just do it twice. You keep blitzing them now. If they can counter pinch bucks, a good player can counter pinch bucks. You know what you do? Come on and pinch dog. Pinch dog is under concept zone blitz too deep. It's going to be two deep safeties um two corners in the flats and two middle reads but there's going to be five guys blitzing so again that overwhelms the line everyone's going to be one-on-one -on -one. with a good pass rush with any abilities you're going to get through again now this one has two deep it's only two deep zones so if the guy's going to the guy might come running out in post so you're going to want to take the middle linebacker and use in the middle of the field like deep because if they hit you with the post they will destroy you but if you cover all that you remember you're blitzing so you have like probably three three seconds four or five seconds max for them to get a playoff so technically you don't have to worry about too much deep but definitely check the middle for that but as a, as a whole, if you come out and overwhelm them, you could easily get these 10 wins within like an hour and a half, maybe even less, depending on how quickly you can overwhelm them. Now, again, offensively, that same play, it's under play type shotgun. It's right there in the New England Patriot playbook. You can't miss it. It's going to be a halfback wheel, post, post, um, halfback angle, and a drag. I think that's the best stock play because you had a low, medium, and deep read, and you even got an over the middle read if the halfback angle comes late. Now, if they're blitzing you, the halfback angle is your to-go-to route because if they're blitzing you, the drag and the angle. If they, if they use the drag, the angles and come right over the middle on a blitz, they're going to beat the man. And then pretty much you just throw it to him over the middle. And he's wide open. I promise you, halfback angle is one of the glitchiest plays this year. I love running. Not the play's not called halfback angle. It's the best route combo. I love that angle that angle route. Comes right over the middle. Now, remember, it is stock. Do not forget that. Like, Make sure you adjust accordingly. If they start beating both your pinch and their pinch dog and pinch buck, you're gonna have to start coming out in straight zones, but I do not recommend that because straight zones allow for people to read you. And if they can read you, they're gonna start knowing what to do. But if you have good pass rushes, you can still come out and base base blitzes. I mean, uh, base defenses because theoretically you still have really good pass rushes, so you still get to them. This is pretty much the week of the aggressive pass rush, like just getting there as quickly as you can. Also, you can go for 30 wins, which is 20 trophies and 4,000 coins. I don't know if I'm gonna go for 30 wins though, because that is a lot. Even 60 wins is kind of a lot with full games. I don't know if I'll do that. I'll definitely get the 10. Nah, because I definitely want that Nat theme diamond. There's so many good players you could get. Now, guys, I hope this helps you guys out a lot. Trust me, people are not in these games to play patiently. They're here to come in and out. Even me, if I come into a game and the guy blitzes me four straight times and he stops right away, I might even quit. Like, guys, guys that's my back wrestling. best recommendation for you guys. If you come in and you feel overwhelmed, their team is way better than yours and you have no chance, don't play it out. You're, just, you're wasting your time. If you feel like you're going to lose or it might come down to the last play, why play a full game where you have like a 30% chance of winning? Just quit right away. Quit right away. Come back right into another game and get get, get a match with someone who's undermatched, who can't compete with you. But um, I promise you guys from experience of just playing this, I made sure I played like four games first just to tell you guys how it would go. If you can blitz them right off the bat and you can overwhelm them, and even offensively, come out in offense, you want to score right away. You score right away and then start blitzing them. I promise you that is the best combo that you can do to come out in those. So just to recap all the plays in case you guys forgot. Pinch buck, which is just in a base 3-4 odd. I come out in the Giants playbook, the defensive playbook. Base 3-4 odd, pinch buck. You scroll down a few pages and you'll see it. That one's the man blitz. And there's pinch dog. That is a five-man blitz with a zone, which is very, very good if they're going to be trying to dot you up. The man, the man's good, but if they, got, if they know how to beat man, then you gotta go to pinch dog. That's my second favorite one to run if they know how to beat man. Typically, that's harder to beat because without being able to adjust with a guy blocking in the backfield, you're typically screwed because you can't block someone, so they're still gonna come back, but the zones give you more time. See, man doesn't give you as much time sometimes because if they have man beaters, like drags, they're gonna get you every time. But a zone, they now have to make reads. And you know how hard it is to make reads when you have guys screaming in right away? I'm telling you, this is the best combo of how to beat this house rule. If you guys follow this, exactly it should not be too hard for you guys even without the best team this should definitely help you guys and then you get your free 87 diamond which i told you you could power up any of these guys to a 90 so remember that if you could power them up all to 90s that is awesome for you guys as a whole because you're gonna get a free 90 overall player and if you guys know how that works you get the 87 theme diamond you buy their power if you power it up all the way they can all go to 90 so in essence you're getting a free 90 player you just have to pay for the training which isn't really that much but guys, that is about it for the video. I hope this does help you guys a lot. I know house rules can be a drag sometimes, but it definitely gets you great rewards. So I highly recommend you do it. And if you guys haven't already, go down below. Smack the sub button. Let's keep grinding out to 8K and then 10K and so on and so forth. Madden 20 is going to be our year, guys. We got it going so far. I really appreciate all the support. 
If you haven't already turned on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Videos just like this help you guys as early as you can see them. And also, comment down below what theme diamond you plan to get from this, like the one you hope you can get, because I'm gonna probably make a video ranking them, so it help me if I know what everyone kind of wants. And then also, like the video. Let's get this video to 250 likes. I'd greatly appreciate that. If you guys are loyal and you watch my videos every day, make sure to like it. It definitely helps my channel a lot more than you guys know. So if you already want to, if you want to show support to the channel, just like the video, comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.